Hey, hello, and welcome. Uh, here's a video no one asked for. I'm Vespro, and I'm going to be doing what will hopefully become a series of some sort. Um, I'm going to be playing Fallout 4 on survival mode with no mods, which, I mean, I'm sure has been done elsewhere to death, but I wanted to do it for myself, and I wanted to record it so I can share it with you. Now, I've played a lot of Fallout 4, to say the least. I have uh, over 400 hours, and since... Uh, I'm going to be skipping a lot of stuff that you can skip. Since Survival came out, um, I've been playing nothing but Survival, and uh, I really enjoy it. I hope you'll enjoy watching me play it. And I hope you'll put up with me pausing weirdly and doing stuff like that. Alright. I don't know how much of this first session will be cut out. Um, there's going to be a lot of experimenting and stuff. As I figure things out, I haven't done something like this before. But for now, at least I'll record uh, character creation. I'm one of those people who, the first time I play a game, I make a character and then I kind of just play variations of that same character forever, as long as I'm playing that game. And right now I'm modeling this particular one off of my most recent um, playthrough, which is, uh, I've been playing um, melee only survival. That's not what I was looking for. Which is fun, um, though I'm level 60 or something, and I've kind of gotten a little bit bored with it. Uh, after a certain point, you s stop being able to die. And so, I, I don't know, I'm looking for something new, and maybe this will give it to me. Uh, I usually go with brown eyes, but when I was... Uh, experimenting, I tried out, where is it? I tried pale blue, and I kind of like that. Uh, these eye textures might not be exactly, um, base. I'm, while I do have all my mods switched off, I do regularly play with mods, and, um, uh, I'm not sure what all gets unloaded when you uh, toggle mods off so there may be some residual textures or something like that uh, remaining. I don't usually play uh, I don't usually uh, put makeup on my characters but I did on my um, uh, I did on my um, melee only character and I kind of liked it so, maybe I'll try that again. I don't know anything about makeup, by the way. That's probably good enough. I can always change it later. Character creations is one of those things where I get too caught up in it and then... Oh, okay, so I can apply multiple ones. I get too caught up in it and before long I can't really... Uh, remember what people look like normally even. And it doesn't help that some of the facial expressions in this game are ridiculous looking. I think that's everything I want to do. I don't want any of this. Alright, this will be good. I can always change it later, either at exiting the vault or um, when uh, I get to Diamond City or any place that has a surgery. Okay. Yes, thank you, Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Really like the uh, uh, voice actor for Nora in this game. Who I I've looked up the name before, but I don't remember. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Also, like how there's so much stuff you can go around and look at. I'm so proud. Uh, at the beginning of this game, 
most things in the house, like obviously this book and this lamp can, that picture and that stuff, but on these tables and stuff, the watch, the radio, the flag, um, all that stuff can be activated and, you know, the character says a little line or two about uh, whatever it makes her think of, which is cool. Also, you can open the closet door and not crawl inside. Hey, Sean. Okay, uh, I'm going to be playing this basically, um, stealth, uh, non-automatic weapons. Mostly, I mostly use pistols. I keep, a, I also keep a shotgun and a sniper rifle. And usually a laser musket. Uh, just because I found I really like, uh, laser muskets. I never used them on my first character. But, um, later... Uh, when I did my first survival run, I realized how powerful they are, and I even got, um, I got, um, Mighty, uh, Six Crank. Hello? I got a Mighty Six Crank, uh, Laser Musket. That's probably the strongest non-Batman thing I can think of. Facial expressions look so off to me. I don't know if it's my game, like if I need to reinstall or something's messing with it, but certain facial expressions just don't seem to work right for me. Okay, I wrote, I wrote down earlier what I was going to do on my stuff as, and I don't remember. I think I need three there. I'm doing, uh, something like this, I think is, no, it's that. I'm doing, uh, Idiot Savant, and so I don't want any intelligence. I am eventually going to pick up intelligence, because I'll need gun nut, uh, in order to modify my guns, but for now, I mostly just want endurance, and enough luck to get, uh, actually, I don't know if I need three perception. Uh, I'll drop that into probably agility, because it helps me with my sneaking. Starting out, what I want is endurance for survivability, agility for sneak, which is also survivability, and enough luck to, uh, let me, um, get idiot savant. The rest of the stuff is kind of just gravy. I want enough strength to get blacksmith. I want some perception, though I don't really use vats all that much um, when I'm shooting. As melee, it's the best, but I want... Charisma is not something I'm going to need until later when I start making supply lines, but uh, for now I want it to be able to pass speech um, checks. Thanks again. And I'll be skipping most dialogue that I can, or at least speeding through it, because I already know what all these people are going to be saying, and I don't really don't really want to drag this out any longer than I have to, because it's probably already going to be kind of boring and slow-paced, at least at the beginning. I'll, well, okay, <laughs> maybe in the later parts too, because... Uh, survival mode has a bit of grinding, especially in the beginning, because uh, doing when freedom calls and having to fight that death claw is a nightmare. Who knows? Maybe I'll get it on my first try. Probably not. Oh, do I have to? I have to spin the mobile. Oh yeah, I have the your special book that I can use. I'll decide what to use that on later. Yeah, yeah. Sounds fun. Halloween. Okay. Let's go watch those bombs drop. I still can't run. Cue ominous music. People hugging across the street. No planes or anything in the sky. So 
So, this is off topic of what's going on right now, but if you play as uh, Nora, you're a lawyer, and if you play as Nate, you're a soldier. Which, being a soldier makes a lot of sense for what you do in this game. There's a lot of running around and shooting people. Oh, hey, there are some, what, probably, yeah, vertebrates. Uh, but, I don't know, there's something, I just find it funny that you go from being a, uh, a lawyer to 200 years later, though, it's really just a short time for you murdering everything with, like, a tire iron. Okay. Obviously, I didn't do it this time, but hey, that water tower looks a little shabby. Maybe it's just got, like, coloring on it that fades after the war, but... Also, I'm pretty sure you're exposed to the radiation at this point in the game, like, before the shockwave hits you. And even if right there, that would, that would probably be bad. Which kind of undermines the plot of the game, which, I don't know. I guess the game has been out long enough that I don't have to worry about spoilers. But, um, your DNA would probably not be intact enough for the, uh, Institute to want to harvest it. Oh, I'm going to talk to those people. Uh, uh, let me run. Ah, uh, Vault 111. I kind of wish that uh, there was more to Vault 111. It doesn't look quite like other vaults, which I guess is owing to the fact that it's mostly just the cryo chambers and then like some staff dormitories but i don't know all the other places have like recreational areas and stuff and you'd think they need that kind of thing for the staff but maybe not i don't know how vault tech treats it. well i do know how vault tech vault tech treats its employees and it's not great All right, time to change in front of everyone. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the pod. Just relax. That sounds fishy. Occupant vitals. Normal. Okay. Procedure complete. This place all this part always takes longer than I feel like it should. I wish you could skip this part. One of the mods I used in Skyrim was uh, skip the beginning. I played so many Skyrim characters doing all sorts of different builds and stuff. And I had a mod that you could skip right to uh, leaving the, like you answer some questions about what choices you made and then it put you outside the, um, the first place that gets attacked by the dragons. I don't remember what it's called. Here comes Kellogg and his institute buddies. I went into this game with no spoilers, and I really enjoyed it. I like its uh, story a lot. I know a lot of people give it flack about its story, but I really enjoyed it. Um, you'll probably hear me complain a lot about this game. Uh, mostly I feel it's lacking some of the imagination and, um, deeper elements that were p present in, uh, Fallout New Vegas, which is the Fallout game I played before this. I never played 3, though. I did watch my roommate play a lot of it in college. I get that gun later, and, uh, one time I tra t tried to rename it to, uh, the gun that killed my husband, or something like that, and it was too long, unfortunately. Still, it's a good gun. 
though I prefer the gainer, which you can also get at any point in the game, rather than having to play through a certain amount of the story. That said, it's a little ways away from Sanctuary Hills, and I'll not be going after... I actually don't know if it spawns immediately at the beginning of the game. It might be level locked. I don't know, maybe I'll look that up. Maybe I will go get it, but not, not right now. Wedding ring. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do at this part, running around, talking to all the different uh, cryopods, and, um, come on, come on, come on. like, the, the voice actress did a great job in this part, uh, with all the reactions to all the stuff you can find, but I'll be skipping most of that because I just want to get to, uh, I've never gone this way first, and I'm not going to. An accessible door. Ooh, adjustable wrench that has gears, if I'm not mistaken, which are rare and therefore handy. First look at a uh, rad roach. Let's see. I always check all this stuff. At this point, the ceramic. Ceramic. Stem pack. Ceramic. At this point in the game, I don't have to worry about carry capacity because I'm, like, right next to Sanctuary. So I'll just pick up all the useful junk I can find. One thing that bugs me is I can bats, even though I don't have a uh, pit boy yet, which seems like that should be a prerequisite. Do you have copper? I don't remember. I don't... You have copper, I know. I'll take some of these beer bottles also there uh they'll be good for making purified water because this is survival mode and i have to worry about that kind of stuff but i enjoy that kind of thing i like i like the extra um like having to stock up it makes the game challenging and i wish survival mode had uh things like temperature to worry about because i think that'd be fun you're a big one um but whatever. Okay. So, okay. I thought I remembered there being an extra little place. Here's the first 10 millimeter pistol you get in the game. There's the cryolator, which I'll probably never use. Take that other pistol just cause. Some cigarettes for, I guess that's as is it asbestos that's in cigarette packs? Ooh, you can go ahead and fill those. Ooh, that's purified water. I'll have to remember that. Actually, I'm going to backtrack and pick up some more bottles because I didn't realize that I could get purified water right there, which it makes sense, but I don't know. Coming from um, uh, New Vegas, in New Vegas you could always tell how many rads you were going to get from uh, drinking from a water source. And then in this it's kind of just like, hey, take a drink and find... Well, that was a diversion. You kind of just have to trial and error your way through it. And, I don't know, I feel like there's... Yep, purified water right there. I feel like there are certain places that should give... Uh, should give purified water and don't. Such as uh, drinking fountains in um, uh, certain vaults. But I guess if the vault isn't up and running like 81 is, then it's probably not going to be good to drink from. I right, read all this stuff before. First time I played this game, I read like everything, at least for a while. Obviously, it gets um, kind of bogged down eventually. Actually, I really need to be... Ugh. Wasted so much ammo. Okay. See, I don't have my pit boy yet, so I can't access my inventory. Can't set customs. Um, can't set custom uh, 
uh, item hotkeys, which is frustrating because the menu is meant to be used with uh, with a gamepad, and I'm playing on a keyboard and mouse, and they didn't really like make an alternate layout for it for keyboard and mouse. Okay, here's Pip Boy. Gonna wipe the dust off with my finger in a sec. There it goes. And then all of a sudden, the screen's clean. Look at that. Th uh, 389, 11 bytes free. I wonder if you could actually run like a Pip Boy, like a simulator sort of thing, where it. it it's capable of um, at least processing and displaying the stuff that the Pit Boy uh, does on these kind of specifications, but that's not really something I have a lot of expertise in. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, the first time I played it. This game has a great score, and you don't hear it a lot of the time because most people listen to the radio which I might do in this, I might not. I kind of got out of the habit of it. Um, watching other things, uh, like Netflix and stuff while I play. Listening to podcasts. Hey, 10 millimeter rounds. But, uh, great score and really good, like, big things are happening music. Hey, that's water down there. I bet that's not purified. I need some eyeglasses. I thought I found some in the vault previously. Maybe I didn't. I don't think I want to change anything. To the surface I go. I think this vault and whatever the vault you find on Far Harbor are interesting because they have the they have the, um, like, vertical elevator to get into it. Which, I don't know if that's been in previous games, or if they've all used the, uh, horizontal vault door. Um, I just thought it was a neat, uh, neat thing, and it, it definitely helps, um, with the cinematics, uh, early game. Both entering and leaving the vault. This time. Here, have the view... Okay. Slowly comes into... Hmm? There's... Oh, that's... Hmm. I'll probably not record, and if I do, I'll cut stuff of me, like, fixing my inventory, but... Um... Yeah, uh, this will probably be where I leave it for... Day. Uh, take a quick look at my stats. Okay, because I wrote down what I was gonna do, but I didn't. Yeah, I want riflemen. I forgot about that. I wrote down what I was gonna put them in and like calculated out what perks I could get, but then I didn't have that with me when I was actually doing it. Uh, don't have a specific thing I'm looking for in that. Don't want any of that. I've got enough of that. I got one more point in... Oh no, I got one less point in... Uh, luck than I wanted. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay. That's why I had that extra point I was looking to give out. Well, that'll slow down my progression for a little bit, but not too much. Oh, I'll use the, uh, the Your Special book on that. That should solve my problems. Uh... I don't I won't even bother setting that. There's a switchblade right over here. Um Switchblade, ten millimeter rounds. I don't know why I'm setting that to a key, because I'm not gonna be 
Yeah, that, and I'll just go ahead and pick that up. How much carry capacity do I have? I've got plenty. Um, I'll switch to the new vault suit because I like that one better, but I'm not going to be wearing it for, for long. I've got that extra wedding ring, which traditionally I give to dog meat. Um, but you can't make him equip it, and I've always wanted to make a mod that allows him to equip it even if it doesn't change anything visually. Just because I think that'd be cool. Because I love dog meat. Okay, uh, there was something I wanted to look at, but I can't really remember what it was. And I'm at like 25 minutes right now, so I'll go ahead and end it here for tonight. Um, just before meeting Codsworth again. And then next time I guess I'll be talking with Codsworth, setting up a base here in Sanctuary, and doing all that fun stuff. So, I uh, hope you tune in next time. Later.